by one indigent person. There will also be other star prizes, four houses of two bedrooms each will be built by the foundation and will be won by four different persons. So many other prizes, including grinding machines and other machines that are used for empowerment will be won by different persons. Nobody shall go home empty-handed. Rogers Foundation Ni mendi bakoreba tage rita ihe rita apuriche bu odula ho anima vice president of rochas foundation bu norman kechiri rochas okorocha na aruni mobodo onye ge ritola ge nweku ba ala nke ge soya ma nwe nde naira abo nke ge soya Namba kunye agarukwa onu la buo odi nke ahu no man ke chinye rocha so korocha na aruru umu wanyi ne nwe hu ka ode ha mmata no ndi ozo ge nwe kwa ihe nrita age nwe ihe nrita ndi ozo di chi che nke ge enya aka iji kwalita ndu Today, the foundation has a vision, TAC Vision 2030, and intends to raise volunteers. These volunteers will have the mandate to remove at least one million children from the streets of Nigeria and the streets of Africa to give them a better and a brighter future. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, let us watch a documentary. At this point, let us take a speech from the director of Aro Foundation, Mr. Aham Rogers. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very humbling date for me today. I feel so privileged and so proud to be a great of this successful experiment of love. To see the addition of the new family in Youssef, uh, in Zuleika from Sierra Leone and in Hawa from Liberia, it gladdens my heart seeing them walking around and being so bold in a different country which has embraced them as their own. I'm going to sing a song. This is the national, our foundation anthem. We're a people on a mission with this vision to give the African child a sound education. To take a child off the streets, the ones with no food to eat. Put a smile on their face, their pain to raise. Africa 
20 years ago, I was but a child growing up, and I was introduced to the Rochester Foundation. It became part of my life, and for that I am grateful and I am proud and I am blessed beyond compare. Because at that early stage in my life, I was taught to put myself in other people's shoes. I was forced to look at other people and sympathize with what they were going through. And my stories so far, from 20 years of stories with the foundation has been excellent. From when I was representing my secondary school, Baptist High School in the Cowbell Mathematics Competition, I remember during that period, the um, Rutas Foundation just had started, and I went to the competition and I saw my brothers and sisters, and I remember they came first, in the, in the cowbell math competition and I came second and I, I, when I went back to school I remember the, my teachers asking me said Aham did your father bribe the cowbell so that you will come second and Rochester Foundation will come first and then that was my story when I was applying for university I remember how difficult it was to get into a very good school in the US and one of my brothers just a year before me made me see the possibility and that's why Right now, we have a graduate from MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, one of the best Ivy League schools right there in the US. He's graduated. I heard last year he had sent computers and many electronic devices back to his school in Kano. This is our story of love. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just give me a moment of your time, I would like to explain love the way I see it. A long time ago, I've always been a fan, I've always loved mathematics, I've loved the studio as well. And one of the things I've learned in mathematics is that this very fundamental principle. It says that if two things are equal to a third, then they must be equal to each other. In very simple terms, what that means is if one plus three is four, then, and two plus two is four, then one plus three must be equal to two plus two. They are the same thing. And then recently also studying the books, the great books of life, what I've come to find is that in Genesis, in the beginning, God talks about creating man in his own image. Now what that simply means is that we are all images of the very same God. And if we are images of God, that means we are images of each other. We are, reflect, we are reflections of, image, of, of, of the same person. Now, why do we look different? Sometimes, um, like all the cameraman standing, um, cameraman people standing here, um, standing here, you know, the camera might, or the camera might look at you from a tall angle, and that makes you look taller. It might take the shade in a darker room, and that might make us look dark. It might take it when there's too much sunlight, and you have a fair person like me, but that doesn't make us any less human. We are all reflections of God. And so what that teaches me is, if Aham is a reflection of somebody on the road that doesn't have anything, we are the same people. So if I see Fatima without a house, that means Aham is homeless. If I see Zuleika without food on her table, then surely Aham is hungry. If I see Jake without clothes to wear, that means Aham doesn't have any clothes at all. And that is the story of love being able to look at someone else and see the reflection of your own self. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with a combination of the Rochas Foundation and this knowledge that I founded the Arrow Foundation. It is a very small foundation trying to make the world a better place. Because what I found is that it is never enough. That is why this occasion today, this auspicious event, is of great importance. Because it is to show the world that it is never enough. There are never enough foundations. There are never.